What's your calling? What's your purpose? Because of what you're going through. Because of what's going on around you. That's normal. But understand, unless the spirit reveals it, it's unknown. You will never know. Jesus experienced betrayal. They examined him, scorned him, denied him, judged him, said he blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. So that made them, the priests, feel like they were doing the will of God because they felt that he was blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. Sometimes people think they're doing the will of God by judging you, scorning you, denying you, mistreating you, all because, they did, all because you did something contrary to the way that they would have done it. Jesus only spoke life and walked in his own given authority. But because, but because they felt Jesus was such a threat to their image and their authority, they would rather crucify him than to free him. They crucified him and allowed Barnabas, the murderer and robber, to go free. They sped on Jesus. They struck him in the face. They tortured him. They placed a crown of thorns on his head. Yet he remained calm, humble during the trial. He showed how much greater he was than those that were treating him with contempt. How many times have we been in a situation and people just torture us? or try to keep us down or keep us bound in whatever we've done, right or wrong or indifferent, Jesus was right. However, sometimes we are wrong, but people sometimes will take that and use that to their advantage because of what they think. They feel that they have the power and the authority to judge you for what you've done or what you haven't done or because you haven't done it the way that they thought that you should do it. Or you haven't responded in the way that they thought that you should have. We have those situations. We have that, but we have to learn how to react like Jesus.